Yeah, look at these. We're getting in the right zone. These are starting to be loaded up with agates. Actual, like, God's eye agates running all through it. So it's the same beautiful fire colors that we've been looking at, but with crazy agate pockets running through it. And again, this is the rough. So if you gave that a nice smooth cut and a polish, you'd be jamming yeah, all the way through. Marker piles here for you if you end up making it here right before the water comes back up. The rocks will be here, but the markers won't. If it raises a little, look at this. These are the pieces that I was hoping for. See how it's reduced down? And it's just a core of goodness. Watch this. Look at that. That's that's insane. We have to hike up. Okay, battery switch. Of course, the best rock of the day. Look at that agate. Just blow your mind. Almost hardly any jasper left and just this pure agate goodness. Gosh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> that is... As good as it gets. That is beautiful. All the way out to the tips. Just little patches of jasper running in between the agates. Even the druzy filled in with like a dark looking agate in between there. And the layers are just sharp and bright. And made out of so many different colors. Uh, let's dip it again. Yeah. All the druzy cavities filled in with a gray calcitony layers even beyond them. Hardly ever seen that. You can see the old tops of the crystals and then something filled on beyond. And look as we come around just... <laughs> Ridiculous. Wow, and just, just pure. Big fractures, very clear calcetony, well stitched together, and then the whole thing, very crystallized. Boom.
these next two I gathered out of the water here. I like the fire variation on this from the red to the yellow and then if you look close, very crystalline and agatized though details. Remember when you're talking jewelry, that face there, it's a pretty large face just in itself. And the others uh, aren't as impressive right now because they didn't get that clean break, but yeah, it's got, got the same stuff going all through it. I'll carry it out, and then this one, ooh, hang on, what are you? Yeah, just more super brights. Red and yellow stripe, but this, ooh, this has the agates running all through it. I know it's a good rock when I can enjoy the agates through the viewfinder. And then I get to go home and watch it on my laptop. And every once in a while I get to see these things on a big screen. In the living room. And it reminds me to slow way down. Yeah. Right now, even in the viewfinder, they're popping. Boom. Okay, I have to show you this one as I'm discovering it. This is what it looks like as I'm walking up. It's big. <laughs> this is your challenges. <laughs> oh Lord. Okay. Yeah, look at this. This is long with my finger going through there. Into deltas that are. These are large calcetin filled crevices. Smooth, too. That's smooth. You can cut that, polish that down. I know it looks fractured, but for those of you who know who Jasper, this is a. It's very, very crystalline, stable stuff right here. Oh. Yeah, we're going to have to take this one because of the. Goes into some big purple agate veins there. Once again, that's rough broken, so you can't see what it would look like like on a plane like that, but you get the gist of what's going on. You see that that wraps around, turns into those. And yeah, that top vein. Boom. So this is what I did. I ended up smashing that big one on this rock. And it broke into these planes. And look at him. That goes right around and on through. But that one's going with us. This 
this one's going with us. I mean, that bash is on the rocks now. And it's broken into more layer. You see, it might go one more time there, long ways. There's that big piece of purple. I think we'll actually leave that sitting on this rock. I'm gonna take this piece. If it ends up, you can tell it's more pure. Um, as in fractures. This is kind of a core piece now. Yeah. It's always a good thing to do. We kind of sort it out. Keeper and not keeper on site. And start reducing it down to the size that you would drop in your tumbler. We can leave these pieces. Look at all that. That would have been well, it's got that original thing, but we'll go ahead and leave that. I feel like we got enough out of that sample just in this. And yeah, we definitely have that very blue calcetiny and orange fractured contrast thing going on. Oh. Bucket of goodness. Look at the colors, it just really stands out. The rest of this is just gray and kind of mottled and then you get to these zones where there's a little jasper deposit and it's, it's that ridiculous, you know? It's like crayon box built. There's your yellows, and your reds. Remember that light is a wavelength. So essentially it's semi-physical in that sense is that it's you know, it's as physical as a sound wave is. And what we see is the color that's reflecting back and all the other colors have been absorbed. So, when they talk about the energies of different stones and they're talking the power or the energies of red jasper, yellow jaspers and, and different stones don't overlook that because then you'd be scoffing at wavelengths light all of the invisible energies which you know basically those invisible energies are what we use to store information on little slices of the same silica and that runs the machine that's filming this and most of your modern world so it's all just different energies and wavelengths stored stored on crystals and they use different types for different things also that's why we mine them all over the world ah look at that one that is just a bunch of red with agates in it this is one of those core core chunks God. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Just the brightest reds into it. Just wow. Crazy. Little chunk of red, but with some beautiful little agates going on in it. Yeah, and I'm just cherry picking some of the cutest little ones. If you look, that's a Jasper boulder. That's Jasper. That's Jasper. That's Jasper. Jasper, Jasper. Jasper, Jasper, Jasper. I mean, they have some some muck from drying out on them, but if anybody makes it down to this particular area, I would bring a little sledgehammer or something because you could bust any of these up for smaller samples. And you have every shade here, and every mix of colors. And you saw the one that I broke apart revealed in even more goodies, so you could spend all day long just knocking a few of these big ones apart and then taking your favorite pieces out of it.
sometimes being the discoverer on a site, I prefer to let nature have done that and then collect what's already done. Wow! Look at that. That's all little teeny tiny agates. You see it? Let me zoom in. See them? They're milky with blurred lines, but they're there. That's what makes up that entire end of that. That's awesome. Look at the row of rocks I'm leaving turned up on down the thing. <laughs> Woohoo! Look at this one, as big as my foot. That's what I'm talking about. And look at the the egg is running all through it. See him? All the way over. All the way through. That's how that one's laying there. Now I pick it up. Go, ooh, that's pretty. I'm gonna flip that over. And it's ridiculous.
Layer of Druzy. And this a very tiger striped agate jasper. And that one's kind of big for the bucket at this point. We're gonna leave those three stacked right there. Those lightning patterns in this would just show up awesome in some jewelry. We have an entire huge bucket. I have to climb all the way back up that slope and I will see you uh, I'll see you at the next location. Thank you for coming with me.